Hello YouTube, this is Vacuum Man 8 today and today it's that time again when the modern technology needs to be changed and let's see what we got today <laughs> Hello YouTube and welcome to another installment of Vintage Week. This is the seventh uh, Vintage Week. Cole's. And we've got Barney Paper Shredder. Yeah, so Cole, we've had quite an interesting week over half term. I did say on the last video that I was going to get some vacuums done while they've seen the state of the house. Basically, the floor was covered with pencils, pencil sharpeners. Um, no. They were our start of the week, weren't they? We had pencil sharpeners all over the chairs, all over the floor, pencil shavings. We've had various vacuums in this week. Oh, where's my pencil? Have you said you're going to get me the facts out today? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I decided to upload this one on the Sunday opposed to the Saturday because it is officially the start of the month <laughs> for, for the other channels. <laughs> yeah, there you go. For the other channels that do the uh, vacuum of the month, I think we're going to clash with that because we do a five week rotation on uh, the change of the vacuum. So uh, today, the modern technology, well as you can see, to look, down. I've got a guest today, we've got we've got old Dirty Eddie. Dirty Eddie's actually been quite busy this week actually. Uh, uh, we have to use her again probably. That's right because I'm sounding the wall out there. So. The idea was, I and you have to use them for sure on the kitchen radiator. That's right, yeah. Oh no, not that. Yes, because the rule is, you should never, you should try and avoid sucking up um, plaster dust with a Dyson. You you were better off using a dustpan and brush and getting the worst up than just then just using the Dyson very sparsely. And then, literally cleaning the filter right after as well. So if I was going to be, if I just suck, if I used say this one to suck up a little bit of plaster dust, I would try and make sure it would be almost just before the filter change can, or the filter cleaning. You can see Hetty's nose. Yeah, you can see. Look, she's got a bit of white patch here. Look, I can't say what that looks like, but uh, yes, she has got plenty of plaster dust inside her. So, going back to the video today. Yes, and some paper shreddings, of course. Yeah, we've had paper shreddings all over the floor. Yes, and we've got a new one. Yeah, I've just bought Kyle. Kyle, as well as vacuums and fans and alarms, he also does love compulsive paper shredding. And being a week off off from school, um, he's had the paper shredding bug. And I've just purchased a um, good quality paper shredder. Um, I don't believe in, what's the old saying? Buy, buy cheap, buy twice, isn't it? Yeah, because the, he's had Texit ones, he's had those Argos Pro Action ones. Rubbish, mate. You want to, if you, if, if you do a lot of shredding, you want to get yourself a good, well known brand with a decent. Well, I mean, we yeah, go for yeah, fellows normally, don't we? I'm not even got a paper shredder. Yeah, he's so. Chucking thing in the green so, thing. last month we did the Dirt Searcher Junior. From 1972. So this week, I've decided to do a, another 80s theme and use a very well, it's a very common version of it, but a highly iconic um, 80s machine. Um, this one is well. Let's get this one out and have a quick look at it. <laughs> you may have seen this one briefly before, but this is the next shop down the road. So this is the after after look at this one. This one I think is either a 1986 or 1987. This one actually cost £6.50, but it was a 300 mile each way drive. I got it as a job lot in July of 2018. I want to say well, then. Then the connect shop down the road, a brand new one. Right. Right, actually looks like they're no go. That's right. They're no them. Now, what else have we got to use? Because we've only got the upright at the moment. <sighs> We have one of the tool sets. Um, this one is what they call a phase two or series two 
Hoover Turbo Power. This is the base model. This is the cheap bottom of the range model. There was various models. It's a electrical shop down the road, Logan. It does, doesn't it? And that's where they got the idea from. Yeah, now, Hoover Turbo We actually, I actually bought one probably about a year or so before. Um, yes. And so what we're doing now is we are culling. We've got winning Culling Carl's collection, as in, if we've got two, we keep the best one. We either use it as spares and repairs, or it goes down the tip. What so that basically, no, what that no go says? What, what that? Yeah, that's, that one at the bottom. But that one? Yeah, the one at the bottom. Oh, that's got the royal crest. No, I mean that one. Terrible power. Oh. So this one is a Wedgwood. I think it's Wedgwood green color. I don't know how that going to be tough Um The other one did come with tools, but not these tools. So the only thing I've actually kept out of the other machine is the instruction book. Um, if you have a look at the, the tools, I was a bit like swaying which set to put on because we have got the one with the first generation burgundy turbo power, which is the iconic tool set. No, the, the red kind of yeah. turbo power. But I'm not too sure. Yeah, so what I've done, I've put all the tools that I actually, we actually had about three or four sets of these tools. In here. And in, 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 and through the winter, we kept, the, we are, all I've got now is two sets of tools. We've got the one in the iconic box and we've got this nice set here. This does actually come with. The dusting brush. The dusting brush. Not graded. Um, I think in the instructions. There right? is. It shows a dusting brush and that one. This one comes with a dusting brush. Oh. That's one of them cheap big ones, isn't it? Probably. It might be. Yeah, that's not a proper one. Oh! Yeah. Two of those. And it also comes with this stair tool, which we do need to use because I do need to clean the stairs a bit. So it does use a pan converter, very similar to the Hoover Decade 80. Um, oh, it's only supposed to come with one pan. Uh, yeah, but we got two. Because we're posh. we posh. So we can use it as a full size. So if I need to, I can actually use it as a um, hard floor machine. And uh, no, you have to get one of the special head swaps those. Yeah, we've got them. We've got heads. So I'm going to probably use as hard floor machine as well. Just experiment, see how good it is. Yeah. Now these are, now this one is a, so this is a phase two model. So it sounds a bit like the, uh, the Marvel, um, the Marvel, you know, the Marvel Studios thing when they said phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four. So. Phase one was the original Burgundy Turbo Power. Um, they did an ah. Alt Flex model as well. Oh, I um, the phase, the, the second generation, which this is, this is the base model that had a two speed switch on the back of it, and opposed to having the one speed switch, different colours. The phase three was the um, Total Systems. The Total Systems basically had the the tools right, built into the machine. And the phase four as well, I wouldn't even bother them because they are just the cheapy ones, aren't they? The bad one. Yeah, they just went back to the old, cheap, bad, badly built, lightweight, for the bits ones, aren't uh, they? In Turbo Power 2 is the second, third, fourth. Yeah. No. Because, yeah, when they had the phase three, I think they had Turbo Power 2s coming out, I think. Yeah. 89. Because this one was between 85. Uh, Power Perma Bag. Yeah. And that's phase three. What? Yeah, the Perma Bag, yeah, that, that's that's what they call generation three. And that's, that's the shitter ones, the ones you said. No, no, no. So I don't know, I mean, I don't know, I think. No, 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 Oh, so yeah, um, and this one, the guy I got these these vacuums from used to work in a shop, so he's got the new house, so I've not really touched them mechanically because they don't need to. It just needed a bit of a spruce up outside. There it is. So it's got this nice green one. <gasps> it still smells up. <laughs> but I think we uh, I think You can you can um, get those cheap uh, disc ones. And you can stick them in there. I think Mr. I Bazak went down first. Yeah, he's got now. lots of them, hasn't he? I think he wants that first now. Yeah, I'm not too sure which one that one is. So, be using this iconic 
uh, machine for the week. I want to ask people what flavour that is. What yep. flavour that is? What flavour is that one then, the green one? Yeah. Probably like Spring Meadow in it or something, I don't know what they call no, it. No, I don't know, I do have one. It, it's got the... the it's amazing really, that I this do have here... One. I do have one, it's got two, I've got a, a pack, one, one Yeah, we red. have got one, yeah. Yeah, with, with a red, with a red hoover on the front, with a, another red, with a red hoover toe power and a red hoover cylinder. Yeah. What is the one, I think it's the one with... I think it the ones we seen on eBay a couple weeks ago. Yeah. So yeah, so we're gonna get this Hoover Turbo Power One and, and use this one for the week. Um, I know for a fact this has got the activator, yeah. which is not the beta bar, which will probably be a little bit better on the ice floors. Um, the brush, the bristles are very good on it what indeed. What happened? It says what the f the flavour is. Is there freshener on there? I don't know. It won't what? say. Oh. It, this is probably the original air freshener now. And it's amazing that, you know, this thing was made in 1986 or 1987. It's a ton of air fresheners. And the air freshener still smells. You know, it's like it's 30 years old. It's a ton of air freshers to halfway. All right. Oh, oh. So there's no LED in this one. It's just that it's stock. I think it's got a proper genuine Uber bulb in it. It, um, it does have a bag fill indicator. It does, yeah, but we won't be using that one this week. Um, it does also have a, and this one will be coming off. Um, MK. It's got one of these nineteen sixties plugs, so I'll be um, MK. I will be looking through the through the plug plug collection oh. and seeing what we can um, put on in place of it and keep that on for a sixties machine. Oh. Oh. Yeah. No, and I'm really seen that one. Yeah. Also, this bit here all works. I really want to see that. Yeah, one we can do that one off camera. Um. So yeah, so we'll be what using this it? one. You say this one was six pound fifty. Um. Let's have a quick look at the date here. Look. Um. 1986, look. March. 986, March. So it's March 1986. All cleaned up nicely. Um, you know, quite a nice little one, really. Quite a common one as well. It's, you know, on eBay, the, this particular Wedgwood Green one is probably the easiest one to get hold of if you, if you like terrible powers. The actual hardest one I think to get hold of in good condition is the first one, the burgundy one, because they just get I smashed I know someone bits. on YouTube will go trash finding, he's got a, one of those... Turbo Masters? Yeah. Yeah, very lucky he was. Uh, I've been down the tip five times and, I, and, and, and we just found Dyson standards, haven't we? Perma bag, one, and yeah. the day he found a Turbo Power two perma bag. Yeah. 50 system 50 60 to me the, the turbo the perma bag ones were the worst ones they've ever made the system one was the most worst terrible power and i and i actually feel sorry for somebody who spent all that money on the top of the line um perma bag turbo power In the and then have it like, spitting out all the all the dust around the room so uh, days. yeah so we'll see how long see how well this one gets on for the week hopefully i'll have the ice back together a bit more it's gradually hopefully by about midweek it should be back together as it should be um like say the, the we actually have got um air cooling in the vacuum vault at the moment so we've got fans <laughs> in there all right yeah we'll look at a minute so yeah thank you very much for watching and uh, see you on the next one and please subscribe to vacuum man 8 and thank you very much for watching